Hey, welcome to the show. Today we've got a jam-packed episode. It's going to be super quick, uh, less than 10 minutes for sure. The, cup, the topic is, have you ever wanted free audiobooks? Chances are yes. If you know me, I am the very, I'm very efficient. Let's just keep it that way. Um, I don't want to say cheap because cheap has a bad connotation. I'm very affordable, very inexpensive. So today we've got a jam-packed episode. I'm going to teach you four, maybe five platforms that I have personally used to get free audiobooks. The days of paying Audible, you know, hundreds of dollars every year to listen to audiobooks is over. I'm going to show you four or five tools right now that are free slash one is one is paid three are absolutely free so let's just dive right in for those watching on youtube thanks for joining me for those listening on the podcast app um wherever you are whatever podcast platform you're on thank you for being here if you haven't checked out the podcast it's the business made me do a podcast if you haven't checked out the youtube just look up conversion stream on youtube and then you'll find me um i want to say thank you for your time this one's going to be very short very sweet the first tool to get audiobooks for free. So let me preface this with saying you need a local library card. Local library card. Go get one. Google local library card in Charlotte, North Carolina, Atlanta, uh, Washington, D.C., New York, wherever you're at. Um, chances are there's going to be a local library close to you. So use Google. Google's your friend. It, it's very smart, trust me. <laughs> um, anyways, go get a library card. It's 100% free. Uh, it usually takes a couple days to, to get in. I've, I've actually, I've had one for a couple years, so it could change. But long story short, get a library card. Whenever you sign up for these tools, they're going to ask you your library card info. Um, whenever you set it up, I believe there's a four-digit passcode that you have to do as well. But any of these platforms that we're going to go through, at least the first two, are going to ask for that info. So the first one is my absolute favorite is Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. It is actually made by Overdrive, which I didn't know until I started researching for the for the video and podcast. So Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, 100% free app. You link it up to your library card, and then you can get a ton of free books. Now, disclaimer, it's not going to be every single book like on Audible. Obviously, there are some downsides for being cheap, <laughs> inexpensive, whatever you want to call it. But Libby, all these are apps, by the way. Um, I have the, if you're watching on YouTube, I have the websites pulled up just so you can see the branding, see the colors, see what their logo looks like so you know you're downloading the right app. So Libby, once again, uh, I believe it's LibbyApp.com. Just Google Libby. In the uh, in your place, Apple uh, Google Play Store or your Apple Store. Moving on, number two, Hoopla H O O P L A Digital.com. Another 100% free app. It links directly to your local library card, and you can get a ton of books. So Libby will have books that Hoopla won't, and then Hoopla will have books that Libby doesn't. So it's what I'll usually do when I'm looking for a book, first stop, boom, hop over to the Libby app, search the book name. If it's not there, I will go to Hoopla. If it's not there, um, my third option is going to be Blinkist. I'm sure you've heard of Blinkist. Very, very popular app. Um, it is very easy to use. My brother has a subscription, and luckily I just piggybacked onto his. Ronnie, if you're listening to this, I appreciate it. Um, Blinkist, B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T.com. So the whole thing with Blinkist is essentially a book in 15 minutes. It's summarized. It's a very short, to the point. You can read or listen to the audio blinks is what they call it. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, you can you can plow through two or three books in a, in a workout or a run or even like a yoga session, whatever you're into. So Blinkist, number three, my favorite one, uh, my third favorite one. This one is not free, unfortunately. It comes with a price. I want to say it is 10 or, 10 or 15 a month. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. 
so yearly 835 per month 100 bucks annually they have some deals um, what I did um, join their mailing list and then I believe they give you like 20 or 30 percent off whenever you know after a week of there is a free version but it's super limited I think you get one book a week or something I, I can't remember exactly um, they've actually changed the pricing whenever uh, the last time I looked at it Long story short, Blinkist, 15-minute book summaries, very, very, very helpful. Um, number four, this is kind of a bonus, Overdrive, which I mentioned in the first one, Libby. Over, Overdrive, O-V-E-R-D-R-I-V-E. -E. They actually own Libby, which is my number one on the list. Overdrive is it's not, it's not the best. It gets the job done. Um, this is kind of my last stop before I will... You know, go to eBay, go to Amazon, and actually purchase the book. Um, as if you're on YouTube, you can see the the book list behind me. I'm starting to collect books just because whenever I get a more stable office, I'm going to have it full top to bottom. So I've started to you know set aside a reading budget, learning budget, whatever you want to call it, each month. And then I'm just if I want a book that I'm really that I really like. What I'll do is I'll probably listen to it first and then purchase it later so I can reread it, highlight it, make notes, um, so on and so forth. For me personally, highlighting and making notes on the, on the margins, that helps me come back the second time I read it. I can just kind of summarize the highlighted parts and then whatever I've written on the side. So that, that helps me digest a little more of the info versus just kind of listening to it passively. So that is it. Four tips, very quick, to getting you free audiobooks. Blinkist is the is the exception. It is not free, unfortunately, but these are all hooked up to your local library card. Very easy to get. Um, go do it. If, if you're, I think you can do it online. I know the whole COVID thing's happening right now. I believe you can do everything online. They can send it to you in the mail in a couple days, and then boom, you're done. Hook it up to Libby, hook it up to Hoopla, and then you should be probably about, I mean, I've found 70 to 80% of the books that I've wanted to read on those apps. And then the other ones, I've either listened to them through Blinkist or actually purchased the book in person. So hopefully that helps you guys. Thank you for listening. If you haven't, please write a review, subscribe to the YouTube channel, to the podcast. Um, and then I'm putting all this work into it. Asking nothing really in return other than you share it with your friends, write a review, and give me some feedback. You know, if it's if this is terrible or if you don't like my voice, whatever it is, just let me know. I, I can't change my voice, but I can hopefully make the content better or potentially make it a little better about maybe something you're interested in. So leave a comment, shoot me a message on Instagram, Caleb W. Shore, um, and then yeah, that is it. Hope you guys are doing well. Have a good day. Cue the outro.